Hey, Dad. You got a minute? The LENS program stands for Leading and Empowering New Storytellers. It's an initiative at Sony for underrepresented talents that otherwise wouldn't be recognized so early in their career. The LENS program is just a life-changing program for new leaders and give them an opportunity to tell their stories. I did want to eventually try my hand at being an animation supervisor someday. So I thought it'd be crazy not to show interest and jump at this opportunity. It was such a wonderful experience, and I was so glad that I applied. The Lens Program is a partnership between Sony Pictures Animation and Sony Pictures Imageworks through the Sony Pictures Action Council and Justice Fund. The point of the program was to take seasoned candidates that were ready to take that next step, that just hadn't been given that opportunity, so that we could inject the industry with stories being told by people that don't always get to tell them. The roles are writer, director, head of visual effects, and head of animation. Our writer, Kayla Amazon, is incredible. She's a force to be reckoned with and a formidable writing partner. Drill Dimpier is the best collaborator. He was already thinking about how to put Miles Morales in a very human situation. So we were already on the same tip, essentially. It very naturally evolved from there. Joe Darko, our animation director, led the elite team of animators that we had on the short. I was essentially just trying to preserve what they were trying to get across and make it more cinematic. Clara Chan is our VFX soup. Clara was a wizard. She's incredible with color, with light. Clara completely guided the vision and how it looks on screen. Clara told us how few female visual effects supervisors there are in feature animation. We are so proud of what she was able to accomplish. She is now visual effects supervisor on a feature film. According to statistics, there's only 0.5% women of color who is in the VFX supervisor role. So I really want to be an example for opening the doors to the underrepresented. Michelle and David, they make things happen. How they produce this short film and how they put this program together is like attending a master class in producing. The most rewarding part of this program was really watching all four of these mentees step into these roles. The idea is for these roles to come together and create a five minute short utilizing one of the studio's movies in the pipeline. So Spider-Verse was the movie that was in production. It was beyond what I expected to be able to work in the universe of Into the Spider-Verse. So we started the development with the director, Jarell Dampier, and the writer, Kayla Amazon. And we asked them to come up with ideas that were thematically important and also outside the box. Jarell immediately wanted to do something that spoke to the mental health conversation and was personal to him because he had dealt with anxiety. Miles comes home after a hard day of being a hero and being a kid, and he has a panic attack in his room. I really wanted to get a conversation going amongst friends and family about anxiety. It's kind of the things that we suffer with alone, the things that we don't talk about. Maybe if we could take the stigma out of those things, people would have an easier time. I love Miles because he's still growing into himself, a little rough around the edges and also a little anxious himself. I just wanted to express my story and express what I personally go through when I struggle with anxiety and how someone like Miles Morales probably also goes through it. The visuals in the actual short are influenced by different symptoms of anxiety. I had to make sure that I was honoring my personal experience with anxiety and panic attacks. If I can pick the right shots and the compositions to make it feel like I feel in those moments, maybe other people can relate. There are truly so many different facets and forms of anxiety, and then try to distill all of those experiences into Miles' experience. I think that adds to the authenticity of it. Uh, ah! We really wanted to use his struggle and finding balance in his life as a metaphor for everybody's struggles. It's astonishing the amount of things we all go through and don't talk about. I want to make movies about those things. Like, I know everyone's stressed. I know everyone gets anxious. I think the world just needs people to be honest about these things so that we can take the stigma out of it. We can take the negative energy away from it. We got to build support systems. We got to help each other figure it out. I think that's important. And if I can help start that dialogue, I want to do it. 
I just got so much on my mind, you know? I hear that, yeah. Luckily, the first movie was there for us to lean on, but we were also in a little box, so there was room for us to create our own little special rules and special characters. What the? We tried to play with the lighting and the colors. We used saturated red and yellow, and that just heightened the emotion of that scariness. And then when things calm down, we turn it back to a cool tone, back into the blue. We were able to speak to the original filmmakers of the Spider-Verse films, and it was incredible getting their guidance in regards to how to do justice to Miles and telling his story. Kemp Powers was incredible to work with, and I could tell that actors were at such an ease around him. I just got to learn and sit at the foot of someone that I really looked up to as a filmmaker. We all offered support to Jarrell as part of this process for him to bring the story to life. It's all about opportunities. It's all about there being people in the pipeline. Kemp was directing, but then he asked Jarrell to direct some lines with Shamik, and it was a really magical moment. I got to direct Shamik Moore for Miles and Brian Tyree Henry for Jefferson. And first of all, amazing talents, both of them in their own right. They're completely different and yet so incredible. I was so grateful for that opportunity. We want to set these mentees up for future success. So we created the process to be a microcosm of the feature film process. They were surrounded by veterans in the field, studio executives, a curriculum of workshops and talks, and mentorship opportunities. We had a really lovely experience watching how another group of filmmakers interpreted this character, this style, and what Miles' interior experience is like. The whole message of Spider-Verse is that anyone can wear the mask. And I think the Lens program really diverges with that so beautifully. To reach out into different communities and bring people in with other voices and new stories, but giving them an opportunity to do it within a film that has huge audiences just felt really special. For us, we are thinking about the next generation of filmmakers and how this movie can hopefully inspire them to do something even better. It's a huge source of empowerment, seeing your stories told, seeing your face on the screen, taking back the narrative. It challenges stereotypes and allows for more accurate representation of what we see in the world. This program allows access to mentors and workshops, and the support was incredible. I feel like I got 10 years of feature pipeline experience in one year, just learning all the ropes from these master storytellers. When we premiered this film, this little girl walked up to me and was so excited to see me and say that she wants to write, hands down, the most rewarding part. Yeah.